Mike is definitely not in the best of position right now. Look at him. He's just putting his arm up and just holding his light with his other hand. If there's anything he needs to do, he's probably going to be in a disadvantage. So this is where that sneaky ass wolf went. He ran away when I got my fingers chopped off, waited around, and now he was in some, like a tunnel, just waiting for me up these steps. This is a smart wolf. It's crazy. I wonder how different this would have went, like I said before in the last video, if I took the bear trap out instead of cutting my finger. Would it still be the same? Is this a quaint little psycho crib? So his little hideout looks like a church with the pews taken away. That's what it looks like to me. Yep, all the way back to square one, but at least now we have the key car with us. We're not catching any breaks with these wolves right now, but I think this one is the one that we saw on the totem a couple videos back that we actually have to pet. And if that's the case, I don't want to give it an uppercut. I don't want to punch it. I want to make sure it's on our side. Because remember, this is the killer's dog. I mean, wolf. And if we get the wolf on our side, who knows what will happen in the future. Just like the totem, this was what we needed to do. Remember, it was a guidance totem. This was the exact video that they made us see. So we're doing something right here. Now I know this is not on your highest priority list, but a little bit of an improvement of this church would do. I know you took out the seats, but the walls, you could fix it up a little bit. Remember, you're here all the time. You thinking about your next move, at least making it look a little more eye catch, wouldn't you? I give you something though. Those couch placements, right on. Uh, stash exposed. At, I tell you something, you like to smoke. I see another cigar, I believe in a tunnel. You like to loosen yourself up after you put somebody through stress. I, I see I see how you work. I see it's, I, that's your workflow, go right ahead. We found the Scooby Snacks. So we gonna give one of these bones to the wolf. We gonna try to keep that wolf as happy as possible. 
So just in case they see us later on, I don't want to be mauled. So since I found these bones, I'm going to give it to that wolf. That wolf and I are going to become best friends. Like I said before, I ain't going to become lunch meat. So this dude got a map of the whole area and I gotta go through this whole entire forest blind. Literally blind. And this guy had it all mapped out and photos. I wish I had a little map in the corner of my screen so I know where I'm going, but no, no. It's better this way because it's supposed to be kind of like a horror movie. Smart. If you can't come to nice. it, let it come to you. Just by taking off that brick. I like you, Mike. Think you right out the box. Right out the box. Now we got to make sure that Mike doesn't set himself on fire. Now, why would he be on the ground with a lighter man?
There was no other way to avoid this. We had to come down here. Mike had to shoot that bullet. And now, we just hope that Mike isn't going to become another barbecue breakfast for someone else. That's all we asking for.